Hello everyone, I'm Pepper 5 welcoming you to a new episode of Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. This episode, we're gonna create stages in the Stage Builder. Stage Building. Use the Wii U gamepad to make a stage that's uniquely you. Draw lines on the touch screen or tap points to create straight lines between them. The shape you create when the, <clears throat> when the ends of the lines meet will become a stationary platform. By default, the edges of platforms can be grabbed by fighters. You can also set specific edges to not be grabbable. Use the button on the bottom left to add items. Okay. Uh, you can keep adding platforms and items until the gauge fills up. When the gauge is full, you'll have to delete parts of the stage before you can add any more. Select test before you finish to take your new stage for a spin. Once you've saved it, you can select it from the custom section of the stage selection screen. Nice. So of course, we're gonna create a new stage. And we're gonna go with, um... Let's see, let's, let's go for a small stage. And we have five different backgrounds. I'm gonna go with this fantasy one with, uh, uh Smash Bros. Sun. I really like... Where is it? Where is it? Uh, menu Melee version 2? Yes, I like... I like that one. Yes, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna go with that one. That is pretty awesome, epic music. So I'm gonna go with that one. And please use... I am using the Wii U gamepad. So, um, let's create a platform first, from here to here. And then from... Oh, okay. From here to here to here to here and here. Hey, that's really nice. It's really cool. Um, okay, and if I want to erase it, I just touch it. Okay, I'm just I'm just learning how to use this, guys. Um, let's see. I could go. Um, there are different types of terrains that you can use, so I'm gonna go ahead and select some yarn things, uh, and I'm gonna go and do one platform like that, and then I'm gonna draw another platform. Like that over here. Then I'm gonna draw a little bit of a... I don't know. This this is too much creativity for me, you guys. Okay. That's really weird, but it looks fine to me. And then I want to add some cannons. I want to add a weak cannon. Actually, no, I want to use this, and I want to rotate it, um, okay, let's actually use a weak cannon. Weak cannons, from over here. And let's, let's leave it like that, uh, that seems pretty good. We have some magma, um, so let's, let's add some magma to the sides of the cannon. This looks pretty weird. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my god! Okay, does it have to be, like, sticking out of something like this? How about something... Yeah, yeah, it needs to be sticking out, so I'm gonna undo. How do I undo a thing? Oh my god, okay. Uh, help? No, undo, undo the last change made. Okay, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, uh, undo, undo, uh, undo. No, that's not, that's not the way. Okay, undo. Oh, how, how crappy can I be? There's an undo button, and I didn't see it. Okay, maybe we want some thin magma then, on the bottom part of this little thing that we made. There you go. How about something like that? And, um... I need to cover this up. This this last part. There you go. Magma! And finally, I want to add... I want to add big wrists. But these have to be weak cannons, too. Uh, if you go too much to this side, you will get blasted off the cannon. And, uh, if you get too close to this side, you will get blasted off this cannon. Let's save it like that. And let's name it something kind of like... Um... Braun. No. Let's call it... 
brow error. Let's do it like that. It looks weird. It looks really basic, pretty weird, but let's let's save it like that. Save complete. Thank you very much. Um, when I showcase the versus mode, uh, no, 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 uh, that's not what I meant. Would you like to save? No, I already saved it. I, yep, I already saved the stage that I wanted. So that's basically how you do this thing. Look at that. Looks nice. What else? Well, that should give us, yeah, create a stage and stage builder. We got Sahara from Animal Crossing. And, uh, okay, so we created the stage. That's really nice and all. Okay, so now that I've shown that off, because it's really entertaining, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna create some really chaotic things later on, I really wanted to show this mode off. There's this mode called Trophy Rush. I have not entered it yet because I was saving it up uh, for you guys. I'm gonna go single player, and I'm gonna go with, um... Let's go... Nope. Let's go Rob. Rob! You can go two players in this, uh, in the Wii U version. So basically, you pay a certain amount of coins, or gold rather, to be able to play uh, Trophy Rush. In this mode, you will Ready, hit boxes uh, to get trophies. This gives you a boost whenever that bar, uh, bar, 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 whenever that bar fills up. That means that you got a fever boost, and that means more trophies for you and more bonuses for you. Uh, be careful with the bombs; they explode and can kill you. If you get killed, you get 10 seconds subtracted from your thing, and that's not really all that nice. So you want to keep as much time as possible with oh my god, with as streak big as possible to get more score and your smash power as big as possible and you want to play for as much possible time uh, for as much time as possible those things are fireworks oh my god okay I should start pay paying attention to where those are facing okay I'm starting to get sick of the well I died and the chain wasn't all that big either so that's a disappointment but as you can see, we're getting trophies and we're getting gold out of this. Yeah, you're never... I don't know if you're ever going to get all the gold that you paid for this. Uh, back? Oh, stay away from that. Boom. 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 Nope. How about some of that? There's also a ton of challenges using uh, Trophy Rush. So that's another reason for me coming to this mode now. Uh, to start playing this in my own time and to get more trophies because there's also a ton of trophies in this game there's 716 I think 700 and something it's way too many no the fever thing nope I was about to explode we still have some minutes but I lost my chain because I didn't break anything in a little while okay I need you to stop I need you to stop falling onto me up oh, if you don't move for a while that thing will come down racing up on you and will try to kill you. Ah, da -da! Da -da! Nope! Away from the explosions, please. I don't like explosions. How about some of that? 73. I need more! I need more! No! <laughs> okay, that wasn't all that bad. Uh, we got 27 trophies, 3 custom parts, and 138 gold. So that, well, look at that. We got a Metroid, a plane, we got the Power Block, we got the Yellow Wallywog, a Garaham Trophy, James McCloud uh, from F Zero, not from Star Fox, Srilix, uh, Gooey Bomb, we got Dark Cry, Meehive, a Town and City, this one is cool, uh, Extreme Balloon Trip, Calc Skull Hat, Glass Joe from Punch Out, Spiny Shell, the Fire Hydrant, Snaring Aurosphere, the Nightmare. And on guard and the banana peel. That's nice. And you can also save your replays from here. So thank you. Um, you also get sma a global smash power for this. They had a chain of 100 in a single game. These are 250 or more blocks. That's really cool. Ta da! And uh, which other one did we get? I can't see it. Oh, it's down here. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, there's a ton. Uh, Playing alone as Mr. Game Watch is 100 blocks in a single game. Um, Playing alone as Pikachu in the Street 200 blocks in a single game of Trophy uh, Trophy Rush. Uh, get a chain of 300 or more in a single game of Trophy Rush. So there's a ton of things to do uh, that are... Well, some, some are pretty reasonable, some are kind of ridiculous. Um, so I'm gonna go again, just for the sake of showing this up a little bit more. 
Uh, not with Mr. Game & Watch, because I won the challenges. You know, you know me, guys. You know me. So, depending on how much money you pay, the amount of time that you will be allowed to play. So, I'm gonna go to one... Uh, okay, I forgot that. Uh, the A button also gives uh, money to that. The Start button uh, is what actually starts the game. So, I'm gonna go for two minutes with Mr. Game & Watch. Boom. 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 Yes. Uh, except for the fact, no, I didn't break that one. Yeah! Destroy, destroy as much as possible, don't let the bombs get near you, uh, start, go moving whenever you see one of those warning signs, because if not, you're gonna regret it. Uh, get the fevers, that's my tip, get the fevers, because that helps you a lot with your chain as well. Oh god, no, no! Okay, good. No! Yes! Okay, we're getting good chains here. We're getting good ones. No, I want the trophy. And move away! Ah! This is no, too dangerous! That's why you have the damage counter over there. Because, of course, after after some damage, the, the bombs and the fireworks will start doing more and more damage to you. Nope! Stay away from me, you things! Oh my god. Yeah, we're, we're not doing half bad, actually. We've gone into a 200 chain. That's nice. We're, uh, we're doing way better than what we did with Rob. Trust me on that one, though. Uh, boop, boop. I want that fever. Nope. 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 No! Oh, we got a 9! Woohoo! We got a 9! That's really actually pretty cool. Which reminds me there's an event called that uh, elusive number 9. And I want to go get that. So that's what we're going to do next time. Uh, we're going to go back to event mode. Yes, we got a 300 chain. That was actually not that hard. I thought it was going to be harder. Hey, look at that. We got 32 freaking trophies. That's a ton. And I really enjoy that. Wow, look at that. Ho ho ho. Nice. So, okay, let's see, we got a party ball, ghosts from Pac-Man, a team healer, which is an item from Brawl, uh, we got a rolling crates, a pokeball, we got some uh, pitfalls, bumpers, Keldeo, Keldeo actually, uh, hammerhead, the hammerhead, this is the item, uh, which is just the head of a hammer item that popped out of the hammer, uh, Ryan, we got Ryan, beam sword, beam kirby, barrels, pico, Wonder Black. Oh, that's cool. We got Wonder Black. I love the Wonderful 10 guys. Uh, the Wonderful 101 guys. I got the game after I played the demo. I got the game, and it's pretty amazing. So there we go. We got a ton of those, and we got some challenges too. Flex Zone X. That's the stage. Commander Video, which is from actually an indie game called. Um, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I forgot the first part of the game. This is Runner 2, the version of Commander Video that is here. Uh, it's from the same team that created uh, the Binding of Isaac, I think. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on the Binding of Isaac, but they've collaborated with Team Meat quite a few times. Um, and uh, Charles Martinet was actually the the narrator for this. Uh, for oh, Bit Trip, it's Bit Trip Runner Two. Um, that's where Charles Martinet was a narrator of. So that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, as you can see, some of these challenges are starting to get a bit ridiculous. Trophy Rush without taking any damage while playing alone and a Samus. So, some of these are pretty ridiculous. We got the Flat Zone X stage, you know, all seven games? What a fan! Unlock those stages! Time to learn all 46 inside and out. Unlock random stage switching, you can find it in the Smash Rules. Now, uh, let me explain something to you guys. I'm, I know this video has been nothing but information uh, and showing off of modes, but uh, let me explain something to you. Um, over at the challenges, over here, you got the stage, uh, the stages unlocked. Um, basically, you unlock Smashville by uh, clearing the playing tricks. You unlock the Congo Jungle 64 by clearing the first event. Uh, then there's another stage that you unlocked over here. Uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 by clearing when the lightning strikes event. And you unlock, where is it? It was some, somewhere around here by playing... Um, basically, you have to fight, you have to uh, play... Uh, Flat Zone X, there it is. 
Uh, God. Okay, Duck Hunt, you had one more knockouts in a single solo cruel smash. And then you got... Where are you? No. There was another one. Where... Where is it? Play... Basically, you have to play uh, Smash Door in each and every one of the maps. Uh, I can't find it for some reason, but it is here. Trust me in that one. Trust me, guys. I I know what I'm I know what I'm saying. I'm not crazy. I know I know I'm not crazy. But um, there you go. Those are the conditions to unlocking. Oh, there you go, Pacman. Play all the maps in Smash Door. There you go. So that's what you have to do to unlock all the stages. It's a few, there's very few unlockable stages, but it's pretty cool, the, the roster is actually pretty huge, as you can see by coming over here, uh, uh, yeah, Olimar, someone else, yeah, as you can see by coming over here, the roster of stages is actually pretty big, Battlefield, Big Battlefield, Final Destination, Mushroom Kingdom U, Mario Galaxy, Congo Jungle 64, Jungle Hijinx, Luigi's Mansion, Mario River Circuit from Brawl, Mario Circuit from Mario Kart 8, Dolphino Plaza, Skyloft, Bridge of Elding, Temple, Pyrosphere, Norfair, Port Town, Air Dive, Lila Cruz, Arbital Gate Assault, uh, Halberd, The Great Cave Offensive, Yoshi's Island, Woolly World, Callus Pokemon League, Pokemon Stadium 2, Onnit, Coliseum, Castle Siege, Flat Zone X, Smashville, Town and City, Garden of Hope, Gamer, Sky World, Palutena's Temple, We Fit Studio, Boxing Ring, Gar Plane, Duck Hunt, 75 meters, Wrecking Crew, Pac-Land, Willy State, uh, Willy Castle, <laughs> Wind the Hill Zone, Woohoo Island, and Pilot Wing. So, now we also have got the custom stage, and that's how I'm gonna end the video. So, Flat Zone Exist stage combines elements from Flat Zone in Melee and Flat Zone 2 from Brawl. Oh my god, I did this way too small. I did this way too small. Oh god. Oh my god. No! This is chaos! I didn't mean it to turn out this way! Oh my god! Erbaker! <laughs> this is chaos! I, I, the proportions are pretty weird! Now I know! Now I know! Uh, I'm gonna go back and edit this stage later, but oh my god! Look at that! <laughs> I'm gonna win by like 10 knockouts! At this rate! Oh my god, you guys! Oh my god! This is amazing. I did the worst stage ever imaginable. I did, I made the worst stage ever imaginable. How even, you guys. And apparently he's got a death wish on him because he always rolls towards that one. Yup. <laughs> I mean, if you come this side, should you, are you able to? Ow! Wow, I am able to. But I, I'm just gonna get trapped in a loop. Okay, maybe not, because I just lost all my Pikmin. Dang it. And is there any way... Yeah, I can come here. Oh god! Don't do this to me. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to get used to this. I'm starting to be able to navigate through my own stage. Which is pretty, pretty ridiculous. I mean, I thought the proportions were gonna be bigger. Um, so that's the thing about the stage builder, apparently, proportions are not always at the right size. Goodbye with the trainer, you don't have all that good all that good of a recovery move, I'm sorry for that. Boom, boom, <laughs> Kill you! I killed you! <laughs> okay, but the stage creator is actually pretty good compared to Brawl, I didn't really enjoy Brawl at all. And there we go, we win. All in my wins. So, that's gonna be it for this episode of Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. So, thank you guys so very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to the channel if you really liked the video. And I'll see you guys next time when we go to event mode once more. See you guys then!